I'm going to show you how you can use the same money over and over again to build a rental portfolio from scratch. Dave from California, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show where we work together one-on-one -on -one and we uh, help you guys uh, build real estate portfolios, start real estate portfolios, create a high net worth through real estate investing. The client that I'm working with today, I'm working with an out-of-state investor named Dave. Dave, I like your story because you are a blue collar cat bro i love blue collar people right you are a teacher from california that is a very respectable blue collar profession right it's like a middle class profession that's what i love about blue collar folks right the middle class folks that are utilizing real estate investing to create net worth right i don't want people watching my show because they think you have to be a super wealthy or rich person to invest in real estate that's not true man everyday people like myself and dave from cali here can invest in real estate that's how i created my wealth super blue collar guy come from long line of truck drivers dad's a truck driver grandpa's a truck driver right that's uh you know you know that's what we do right we could go ahead and make money increase our net worth increase our financial standing with real estate right i was making about thirty thousand dollars a year managing a radio shack when i was 21 years old when i bought my first property it was like a minimum uh hourly like as a manager you had to work like 55 hours minimum and it was a thirty thousand dollar salary so if you break that out hourly right wasn't a lot of money so enough about me it's about you dave the thing is blue collar people we can really you know increase our financial status with real estate and the strategy uh, that helps that out and that's what we're going to talk about right now is the burr strategy that's how you recycle your money right you keep your money moving made me a lot of money this strategy burr right b for r's the b stands for buy renovate rent refinance and repeat right you got to do this process over and over keep pulling that money back out now a lot of people think uh, that if you do this you you're going to get all your money back out that's not the case the goal the goal is to get less uh money into the deal than you would have needed had you purchased a home traditionally right so if you purchase a non-owner occupied property traditionally you can use financing you'll need to put down 25 percent the bank will give you the rest right so you got a quarter in they got three quarters in but if we do bird deals we buy properties cash renovate them get them to refinance for more money than we have in them thus allowing us to have any any amount under 25 percent left in the deal is good that's a successful burr that's how we keep moving on recycling that money right so you're still gonna have a little bit of money in the deal but you're gonna get a huge cash on cash return and you're gonna have a ton of money to move forward and the property i've got for you dave 3040 west 47th cleveland 44102 listed 16 days ago for forty nine thousand nine hundred dollars this is a beat up ugly little duplex right it's in the metro health neighborhood right the clark fulton neighborhood i know you like that area dave reason being they're going to be investing a billion be like boy billion dollars into that area right you take a low income area like this right currently d-class neighborhood right take a low income d-class neighborhood like that put a billion bucks into it i'd be surprised if good things don't happen especially in, when it's in close proximity to other nice neighborhoods you hear about in cleveland ohio city detroit shoreway uh tremont right all that stuff edgewater right that's all bordering it so i think a lot of stuff is happening over here and i think this is going to be a solid neighborhood but currently dude it's just an ugly little duckling right what we have by the way one of these units is empty the other unit they are currently paying 500 but those rents are very low uh what we're going to want to do we're going to want 
to increase the rents by increasing the property, increasing the value, and I'm going to break it all down based upon that. But you don't have to do it all at once, right? You could buy the property, start renovating the vacant unit, and, you know, kind of like slow motion bird a little bit, right? Delay, like collect the money from this existing tenant until uh, the appropriate time, right? No reason to kick them out, right? It takes time to renovate units. Obviously, it's pretty rough, though, right? There's nothing, uh, you know, good. A little old furnace here. There's nothing great about it. Electric panel is updated, though. That's like one little nice thing, but I'm sure there might be, you know, could be some issues here. I don't know. Like, it, it looks worse than it is. Like, people see this and they think, oh, my God, it's a huge mess. What, this really just looks ugly because the, the panels are pulled off. Like, this is nice and updated. So uh, I can't really tell you from here if that's bad or good, but we'll go over the budget here shortly. That might fall under uh, the aw fuck fund. The off fuck, fuck fund is uh, something that, like, I'm going to give you what we're going to do, and then the off fuck fund is going to kind of be a catch-all for, like, unknown stuff, because there's always going to be unknown stuff in renovations, right? Last thing here, you see the two gas meters, okay? So, that is the property. What I would like you to do... Okay, Dave, I'd like you to pick this property up for forty grand. The agent... Uh, Works at Realty Express. He's actually also the owner. He's got it listed at forty nine nine. It's you know, it's a somewhat okay price, but for the numbers to pencil out here, I need you to be able to pick it up cheaper than that. So I think we gotta try to get this for you at forty grand. Then we're gonna spend. I have penciled in thirty eight thousand dollars, which takes us to a total investment of seventy eight thousand dollars. That thirty eight thousand dollars, the way it breaks down. Uh, guaranteed cosmetic work, okay? Because that, you know, look nasty, right? What we need to do here is fully renovate both units, not at the same time, though, right? We had that other tenant paying us $500. let us leave him be. Keep collecting the 500 If you want to, eventually we could increase his rent like 50 100 bucks, or something like that. But what we're going to need to do before going for that refinance is get that unit renovated and that tenant up paying market rent, right? So, as far as that goes, the breakdown I'm giving you, it might not all happen at once, but what we have to do. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. We have to spend approximately $15,000 in each of these units. What that's going to entail, that's going to entail new kitchen fixtures, new bath fixtures, fresh floors throughout, likely a matching vinyl plank flooring in the kitchen and the bath, and there is likely good original hardwood floors in this home. I say good because, like, they're... You know, they're nice hardwoods, but right now, currently, as they stand, they're, they're beats all hell. They're over 100 years old, so we're going to have to refinish those. We're going to put very thick poly coats on it because that is going to allow you to continue operating the property with your turnovers being cheaper, right? Some folks like carpet. It's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper up front, but you do carpet. You got to replace the carpet every couple tenants, man. We don't want to do that, right? Let's do the job once. Let's do it right, and then, you know, a kid pees on the floor, dog pees on the floor, you drop a beer, you drop pop, wine, whatever. Doesn't sink into the wood. We got the nice poly coat, comes right off, beads right up. Don't have to keep doing the floor between tenants. Save you some money, right? So that's going to happen. We're going to patch all the holes in the walls, repaint all the walls, agreeable gray, go with a nice uh, white trim throughout. Just make the unit look fresh and clean. Get it to a uh, qualify for Section 8 vouchers because in this neighborhood, yeah, I, I said we got a billion coming into it. It's going to be nicer down the road. Right now, it's still high risk, so we need to alleviate those risks of the current neighborhood by getting that rental income to be guaranteed by the government, so we want to go Section 8, right? So for approximately $15,000 per unit, that's $30,000. We should be able to accomplish most all of that. Then, as mentioned before, I have another $8,000 in this budget for the Aw Fuck Fund, okay? The Aw Fuck Fund is incredibly important, and if you're a real estate investor out there, you need to have one of these on every renovation, okay? Other things. We got a roof, right? No reason to believe the roof is brand new. No reason to believe we have to uh, do it right now, but... Uh, 
so no, sorry. What I'm trying to say is no reason to believe that it's brand new on one hand, but also no reason to believe it's like totally shot on the other hand. So, you know, in the next few years or in the next, you know, short term period, we're probably either going to need to do a roof, which is going to be five or six K. You know, we saw some furnaces in there. Theoretically, they both work, but they're older. Furnaces last about 30 years. So some furnace work's going to have to happen. They cost about three Gs each, right? So that's 6000 for two furnaces. Maybe let's call it 6000 for a roof. That takes us to twelve. Hot water tanks is about 2000 That's about $14,000 if you had to do all those items. I do not have reason to believe that you need to do all of those all, what, two furnaces, two hot water tanks, and one roof. I don't think you need to do all of them right now, so we're not going to call it 14 k But I don't think you need to do none of them. I guarantee you, by the time we renovate the other stuff, you know, maybe we rode that tenant out for a year or two and then did it. By the time we get that unit renovated, the other unit renovated, and we get ready to do this refinance, you're going to have to do some of that stuff. So I'm penciling in approximately 8 k knowing that none of that stuff is brand new. We're putting that into the budget, right? And what's that going to get us? It's going to get us two tenants paying seven fifty dollars a piece, right? So that's $1,500 a month. eighteen k a year comes in. Of the eighteen k a year, an average of seven thousand five hundred thirty six is going to go out the door. That's ten thousand four hundred sixty four dollars, right? Is our estimated long term net return. One thing I do want to bring to your attention, though, right, is the taxes. Okay, that's going to change. This is the current taxes, right? Two hundred seventy eight dollars a year, or twenty three dollars a month. That is going to go up. Okay, if you check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. In there, not only do I grade the neighborhoods on an A to F scale based upon risk, I also include the property tax rate, right? 2.79% is Cleveland's property tax rate. So if you have a $100,000 property, your property is valued at hundred grand. your property taxes for the year would be, uh, what, 2790 right? Okay, the reason this particular property is so cheap is the seller, the agent, you know, savvy investor. He bought this thing, you know, looked like a foreclosure back during the, like, the height, the basement, rather, the basement of the recession, 2011. He bought this sucker for 6900 So according to the county, it's worth a lot less. So you're going to pick it up uh, under my numbers here, right? I think you'll pick it up for 40 so that is probably what the county is going to use to value it, right? So your taxes will go up a little bit. But using these numbers, we got 10464 on average coming in. So you're all into this deal at 78 Gs with that money coming in. It's a 13.4 cap. And as far as a bank is concerned, I think they will appraise it for you at approximately 85000 is the target. That's what I'm hoping we get it to appraise it. If that occurs, that bank will loan you back sixty-seven thousand or sixty-three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, right? So you put seventy-eight into the deal. Bank gives you back sixty-three thousand seven fifty. You're ending up, brother, with only fourteen thousand two hundred fifty dollars. You do the numbers. That's going to pencil out to over fifty percent return on your money, right? So that is a successful burr. As far as you're concerned, I know you have one hundred thousand dollars in cash to build this real estate portfolio. So you're going to be able to start with a hundred thousand dollars. By the time the dust settles on this deal you will end up with approximately $86,000 left and you will have a property generating a passive income of approximately $7,000 a year for you. Not bad, right? Freaking 7000 that's a two-year payback on your money, and you still got the 86000 to do this again and again. That's where the repeat comes in play, right? We got to do this process over and over. We got to continue to recycle this same money over and over till you know, that money dwindles now, but you're making seven extra Gs a year, right? So that starts at 86 It's going right back up to 100 very soon, right? That's how we do it. That's how we build a huge net worth in real estate. That's how blue-collar professionals such as yourself, right, a teacher, Middle class, respectable job. You're not a, a brain surgeon or some fancy dude on Wall Street. You're an average American just trying to work hard, create a better life for your family. And I freaking love it. And I think real estate is a great way to do that. So good job out of you, brother. I think this deal is going to work. Let me know in the private link if it does. You want to make an offer? If not, if for any reason you think I'm off base, you don't like this deal, you don't think it uh, you know, meets what you're trying to do, let me know, dude. Let me know, know your feedback, and when I do the next video for you, I will take all that into account, and I will try to you know, make a video that better caters to what you want to do. 
Everybody else, if you're watching this, a couple things to note. If you ain't Dave and you're watching this, this deal's gone. It's not available. I sent this to him a couple months ago privately, right? He had the opportunity to bid on this. When the deal's gone, no longer available, that's when I release it for free here on Holton Weiss TV for everybody to learn. So you can't try to buy this. If you want the opportunity to work with me one-on-one -on -one in the way Dave is doing, go to HoltonWeiss.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, click on the MLS Search and Analysis Show, order yourself a package. We could start at just one property, or I like when people get the multi-packs. We run sales on those all the time. The reason I like the multi-packs is it's very much... A process, a back and forth process. This is not the first video I've done for Dave. We tried getting him another deal, but uh, we got outbid. We're not trying to pay forty nine nine for this property. We're trying to get these at lower prices. So sometimes we're going to be outbid. Sometimes the sellers will reject our offers. Sometimes the sellers reject our offers for a while, and then they come back to us, right? So unless you all want to go out there and pay list price to these sellers, if you're trying to really create value, try to get that 50% return, it's a numbers game. It's going to take some time, dude. Like all this equity just isn't on trees out here in Cleveland. Yeah, we're, we're a cheap market, great rent, price to rent ratio, probably best in the nation, guys, but it's not candy land, okay? There's still a lot of work, still a lot of due diligence involved, still a lot of analysis that we got to go through. So that's why the multi-packs are great. But hey, it all starts with education. So if you're a viewer who's not quite ready to buy just yet, that's totally cool, man. Keep watching. Do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Good day everyone, it's Angela Remora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell.
Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.